time for Wine Talks with Paul K. Fascinating story. This is Robert Mondavi from the Michael Mondavi Winery. I taste a lot of wine. Having a conversation with Shark Tank, Kevin O'Leary, Michael Silacci, Opus One Winery. Incredible conversation with Dr. Mia Ruth. No matter what, you're definitely going to feel better. Sit back and grab a glass. It's Wine Talks with Paul K. Hey, welcome to Wine Talks with Paul K. And we are in studio today in beautiful Southern California, about to have a conversation with Luca Tomasi and Mad Max here for the Italian wine show, Trebecchieri. Wine Talks, of course, available on iHeartRadio, Pandora, iHeartRadio, I said that already, uh, Spotify, wherever you hang out for podcasting, and sponsored by the original Wine of the Month Club, now sporting the sweet and s- sour, ha ha ha, no, the sweet and <laughs> rosé series of wines. But not while we're here. We're here to have a conversation with with Luca Tomasi of Castel Vecchio and his good buddy Mad Max from what's the name of the company now? I forgot. Feruli Feruli Wines. Wines. Yeah, Feruli Wines. And that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about Feruli. Welcome to, to the show, you guys. Yes. Thank you. Thank okay. you for having us. Bienvenue. <laughs> Thank you. Bienvenue. <laughs> Exciting. Bienvenue. Thank Bienvenue. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, this is a, a, I've never had wines like this before. And so I'm happy to have you on the show. Um, let's talk a little bit about the lay of the land. You you are the owner of the winery Casa Vecchio, or you are the son-in-law, or what do you do? And uh, <clears throat> my, the the property. Yes. Of uh, of my wife, uh, and uh, we work and uh, together we have and uh, thirty five hectares and uh, all around the cellar in the middle of and uh, eighty hectares of forest in a unique block and. Uh, um, all uh, our wines is uh, cultivated with uh, without and uh, pesticide, without herbicide. Well, let's stop. We're going to stop you right there. Yes. You said something very important. Okay. That you work with your wife. Uh, is that <laughs> is that easy to do? No, it's not easy for me. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> because, you know, I, I, twenty-five years for me. You know, she oh. sits right next to me. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I yeah. mean, yeah, yes. right? I, I know what you're going through. Yeah. So <laughs> so every day you guys are on the property, you are tending to the vines, you are tending to the wine. How many years have you done this? And uh, from and, uh, 1986, wow. when, the, when the, um, my family bought the, the, the property. And, um, and uh, it's very unique in the uh, uh, winery. In the in the in, in Friuli, because it's a unique block, and uh, for and uh, 35 hectares, and all around the the cellar. So let's let's talk about Friuli for a second. We're yes. we're in Italy, and yes. we're at the way up north, right? Mm-hmm. We're by north, Venice. Yeah, yeah. East, of Ven- Venice? yeah east of Venice. Okay. Yeah. East of Venice. Yes. All right. East so Venice. we're if, yeah. we're if we're romantic and we're in Verona, where we're going to see Romeo and Juliet. How far from there? Uh, three, three hours. Three hours. Three hours, three hours drive. from uh, Verona and uh, one hour from uh, from uh, from Venice. And um, but and uh, we are in the boarding to Slovenia because mm-hmm. and uh, we are in the two kilometers uh, uh, far. Two, from, you're two yes, kilometers from from, yes, wow. from the border of Slovenia. For, yeah. from, so I don't think I don't Slovenia. think a general geography class because actually I, I read this in a book and then I realized it's the same for me that my geography mm-hmm. has. It's increased substantially my knowledge of geography because of wine, right? We learn about the world yeah. through wine. We learn about things. And so when you look at the map of Italy, everybody knows the boot, right? Yeah. The heel of the boot, everybody knows that. But nobody really knows that it kind of goes up over the top of the Adriatic. Yes. Yeah, it almost correct. starts to head down the other yes. side, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, we're yeah. still a very obscure region. So how did you find them in the first place, Max? I mean, what, was he out? He, was he, he found out us. Hitching a ride on the highway or something. <laughs> and is the is is very unique because in the to the north we have the we the Dolomites, we have the, the, the Dolomites and the, the Alps and Austria and the, uh, the Alps cover from the cold north wind. Right. And the, to the south we have the Adriatic Sea and the yeah five, we get the breeze the breeze from, the, from the sea, and the yeah. breeze is very important yeah, for the yeah. for the year for the plants for the the vineyard yeah we we are known as the door to eastern europe if that makes right, so, sense. so so if we continue that geography we're going to kind of come down over the top of the adriatic and now like you said slovenia, slovenia. which has got a very important wine industry mm-hmm. and then croatia yeah. which has got an incredible wine industry and yes. i noticed uh, we'll talk about the grapes in a second about what you do there but i, I wanted to get the geography where people understand that this is a mm-hmm. part of the world i've I have never 
taste of the wine from Carso. Oh, okay. Until first yeah. time. Well, you brought the yeah. same wine once before, but in other words, it's the only wines I've ever had from there. Mm-hmm. But I want to touch on the Dolomites for just a second because that's very cold. It's at mm-hmm. the very top of yes. uh, where Italy meets uh, Austria, right? Austria, no? Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Uh, right. So you can get pasta and schnitzel in the same restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yes. So, <laughs> but it's also where they found Utzi, the 5,000-year-old man, that, they, that he was frozen. Yeah. And they thought he was a tourist. And, and yeah, right? it's true. And yeah. you can see him. He's wearing his yeah. backpack. He's got sandals. There was yeah. food in his stomach. <laughs> there was antibiotics in his little pouch. So, But the, the wines aren't that old. Um how did you find this? How, how did this 1986? How did the winery be, be come to exist? How did that happen? And uh, yes, when the, when the, my wife bought the, the property, and it was only for uh, hectares of vineyards, and uh, oh, ma, but, ma come, come and uh, the come nata? Mm, l'idea and uh, the love of the love uh, of it yes they love it and uh, my the the father of my wife go to the to the um, bike in the on the hill wow. and they uh, see the the property it's in the love and it. he fell in love yeah it was it was basically biking around around the area and he had a passion for friuli and uh Is he, was and, he in the wine business before and uh yes in the um, uh business in the in the in the wine and in in the um, uh, ecologic and the leather you know I'm, just, I'm sitting here we tasted the wines earlier and i just had this feeling just now like i want to taste it again yeah right all it of a calls, sudden it pulls you back yeah so yeah. we're talking about the soil and we have a rock here which is incredible and all of a sudden i had this hankering to like pour a glass Yes, <laughs> I've never. That's never happened to me before. There's something about the structure of the wine, the acid, the acid of the wine that makes you want to sort of try it again. Yeah. Yes, it's fascinating. Uh, but but there's no, there were no vineyards there before. And uh, before it's in the um, only four hectares of vineyards and the uh, and the um, uh, no, a, an, animals. There were no before. Era una for, 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 for four hectares for of four vine- hectares. only four hectares we're all, of we're, vineyards we're already there. And the yeah. cow. And the cows, cows and the cows, 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 <laughs> cows, yes, and donkey. And now we have an an eighteen donkey. That's an eighteen donkey. Yes, and they're cleaning the the forest. And the, but we work a lot. And the, now we have an thirty five hectares. Did your father in law? How do you say father in law in Italian? Suocero. Uh, Suocero. Yes, yeah, Suocero. Yeah. Did Suocero. he did he know that this was going to produce wines of such interest that are interesting wines? Or? Yes. He he just saw that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. a vision. He's a visionary. Visionary. Yeah, yes. yeah. He's a visionary. And uh, it, do the Americans know about this district yet, Max? Not really. <laughs> I mean, we are. I think some of the first ones to bring this territory and these producers like like him into the U.S. into the world. I so. mean, this these wines need to be in places where fine food is is served. Yeah, it's and, right. And, like yeah. you, you were talking about, okay, let's, we'll talk about them now. There's the one grape, the white grape, Vitosca, v- 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 and Terrano, the red grape, and then you have Cabernet Franc. And it's so interesting to me because the two indigenous wines here were obviously indigenous and obviously yeah. suited for that. The Cabernet Franc was very good. The structure was very good. Thank you. But it was an interesting departure from from, from the wines that expect, belong yeah. there versus yeah. wines that are put there, right? Yes, yes. So, Correct. So I, I, you said salami, right? And eel. Perfect. Says, <laughs> <a> per- <laughs> perfect pairing. <laughs> says no one, I, no one's is- ever said eel is a great pairing for a wine here. But I can see because eel's kind of an oily fish, is it not? Yes. So, In the, the, the Vitosca is a, it's a freshness. It's yep. very mineral. It's uh, perfect for all pairing, and uh, you drink and uh, and uh, perfect pairing with an uh, and uh, light fish uh, or uh, aperit- uh, mm-hmm. aperitif, and uh, so the 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 fermentation is uh, is with with indigenous yeast. We don't use and in the, in the selection uh, yeast. And uh, I remember the 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 pier, the white pier. The um, and the, the rocky, the rocky, the salted, 
and uh, and is very very easy drinking. So the you you said that you're biodynamic. The wines. The one thing that's interesting I noticed on the label it says organic wine. Yes, which means the process is organic as well, and not it, just the vineyard. And uh, yes, and um, we are and uh, certificated organic, but you you use all and uh, biodynamic uh, method mm -hmm. and uh, five zero zero horn, five zero one horn, green uh, manure, and uh, we so and we don't use and pesticide, we don't use uh, herbicide, and the uh, vinification is is uh, very very simple. Why is that? Why did why did you and your father-in-law and your uh, wife decide that? Be, because and uh, we are we are and uh, lucky um, and we have the the, the 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 perfect situation and the uh, and the, the the grapes and the born and uh, in natural method. A natural method. Yes. So I saw the video of them digging to. I mean, <laughs> who does that? <laughs> like you have a you have a tractor. Yeah. poking holes in the in the soil in this case the rock just to yeah. plant the vineyard yeah. and so, so how, hard how do we do we yes. know how deep these vineyards go how the rate the roots what's the what's the term for uh root la radici and the uh, la radici in, and but the, the 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 plants it's very very wild and they go down and and dig the the rocks and go in the in the really in the, the middle yes tiny yes, tiny tiny yes yes perfect incredible and uh, but and uh, for the plants we 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 dig the 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 rock and we plant and we have in all 35 hectares the tube and uh, with and the uh, water yeah. for emergency okay. because and uh, if you don't have the tube we don't yeah, it's right. impossible cultivate the, the the vineyards in in our zone it's amazing to me because of all the terroir, all the places you could grow grapes and the different soil and the clay and shale and all the rest. So here you have, that's really, this is quite rocky. And the minerality yeah. of the wines was so obvious, so expressive. Yes. It, it was a true, like if you were to teach somebody about what does terroir taste like, mm -hmm. this is uh, this is what you'd show them. You know, you'd yeah. show, because you, you can sometimes get like volcanic, character out of mm -hmm. let's say mount edna right. or something right yes but here you really understand minerality when you taste yes. these wines and the other thing you totally understand from these wines which is fascinating to me is this salted offshore breeze coming mm -hmm. from the adriatic yeah and that's very sort of, unique right yeah, that yeah. savory character yeah yeah that's why we travel with the rock yeah <laughs> <laughs> you got to show something it's a little it's we a, travel with the rock in the bag uh, it's the tactile uh you know yeah. the tactile demonstration of exactly what the, what the grapes are but it, it so it was it was a, it, a decision that you made with your father-in-law and your wife to do things biodynamic which which is a very hard way to farm and uh, yes is a is in the is an art work yes. is in the in but in the um the um, the unique block the the wind because in our zone our zone is every windy and the 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 all the vineyards in all, all uh, around the cell the cellar is in a perfect for these and the, these methods and the, and the, i think and the, the grapes and the born in perfect condition and if the the grapes and the, are perfect the the wine uh is you can only I screw think, it up right <laughs> well, yeah yeah it's a lot of hard There's no excuses now yeah. yes <laughs> yes yes so why donkeys why how, how come not sheep is it a very difficult terroir is it very difficult to walk around is it valley is it plateau is it hills Yes, and um, we are in the in the uh, two two hundred and uh, meters uh, on the sea. Two hundred meters. Yes, and the uh, above feet. the sea level. Yes, so that's Napa level. Valley's height, seven hundred feet. Two hundred meters. So it's seven hundred, six hundred feet, six five hundred. In a little feet. bit, a little bit less than six hundred feet. Yeah, yeah, and um, uh, is is um, is all. And the the the, um, the position yes. is uh, is is uh, is perfect, and the, um, the 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 exposition of the red one and white one in the, in the all around the hill is uh, 
is is perfect. Is perfect. So yes. you get the cold uh, breezes from the Dolomites. Mm-hmm. You get salty uh, influence from the Adriatic. Is there a the winery breeze. there? Uh, hospitality restaurant? What? How, how do you? Uh, how do people see your place? And yes, and um, my wife and uh, work with the, the events and the the, the married pa- party, the yep. wedding. Uh, oh, that'd be fun. Yes, and we we have we have and uh, we have and villa villa Veneta and um, a Venetian villa a ve- Venetian villa uh, from Venetian and uh, 1792. We have and uh, eight uh, eight and um, rooms. We have then the little and uh, enotech and uh, where uh, you can drink uh, uh, our wines and uh, if you want and uh, buy and uh, some bottles. It's uh, yeah, if, they have a shop, a wine bar. If if you uh, if you have a um, you have a room for podcast hosts. Yes. <laughs> okay. Of course. Of course. <laughs> when when you sure want, if you want yes, to stream right. some it, episodes it, from there, it's a pleasure for for us. So 1792, though that's you know that's the 18th century. So something was happening in that neighborhood, in that area before. Uh, yeah, yes, but and uh, our our villa, villa in the uh, in, uh, in the um, product in the in the in the label um, was the the um, uh, east eastest uh, villa uh, la villa più a est. The yeah, the most the most, the most eastern, eastern with the, the villa with the most eastern uh, exposition out of uh, out of northern Italy. Northern so, Italy, yes. Yeah. So the climate, what's the general climate during the summer? Is it really hot? Is it like you know, Europe gets very hot during the summer? Is it wind, cold? Is it cold in the winter? Uh, yes, and uh, so uh, is the um, uh, was the 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 cold. In the winter and uh, now and uh, hot uh, summer, but um, we are lucky because is every we are we have every windy, and uh, is in the in the in the night is uh, the the temperature go drops go, down. Go, yes, yeah. yes, yes, go down, and uh, it's perfect for the plants and the, for the for the grapes because these two varietals, um, you know, they they don't have. Italian names necessarily. They seem to be more on the Croatian, Slovenian side of things because that's mm-hmm. where you're at. Yeah. And I have this affinity. I think you would agree with me that things that uh, go together, grow together, things that grow together, go together. What are the, mm-hmm. What's the cuisine on that side of, of Italy? Is it mm-hmm. more Northern Italian? Is it more pasta dishes? What kind of food Besides the eel that we have there, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, so the yeah, the food is very kind of fatty. In yes, a, in our area, in the areas and the in the fat uh, salami or in the fat uh, prosciutto yeah. or in the um, the um, the dish and, uh, from sea like and the brodetto. Brodetto is in the f- fish soup. Oh yeah. Yes. Borretto. Uh, Borretto, Bro- yes. Bo- uh, bolito. Yes. No, no bolito. No, bol- bolito is uh, is in the, in the meat. Yeah. But yes. it was cooking cooking. Verona yes. Venice. But yeah. all, all all the north uh, okay. of Yeah, we uh, share of we share obviously because of the proximity with Venice and Verona, we share pretty much the same the same foods, but we are the kingdom of cured meats. Yes. Well, so. I can see with these wines, it'd be yeah. perfect for that. Yeah. Yes. The salty Exactly. Needs. Yeah. And the the the, the, um, the brodetto is perfect with the uh, vitosca because balanced with the acidity, the, the the fat of the 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 fish. Yeah. Yes. So, what is the worldwide reception to wines from Carso? <laughs> is this is this just getting started? I mean, the, I mean, literally in the, in terms of um, wineries, particularly European wineries. This is young, right? Oh, yeah. It's Super very young. young. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, it's just getting started. So, people, when we talk about Carso, and it's also on the label, people, most of the times, they don't know what we're talking about. It's, it's kind so, of a hybrid. You know, I'm just thinking through this. We were in Croatia. We went to um, Salta. We went to uh, where the fort is. And I didn't recognize any of the wines. And so I relied on the psalm at the mm-hmm. restaurants, and then we went to a couple right. of Michelin star restaurants to tell me what these mm-hmm. character was. And they were gorgeous wines. I mean, this yeah. part of the world can make beautiful wines as these are, but nobody knows about them. 
Yeah. And here, and he, no one brings Croatian wine. I've, I can tell you in my 35 years, maybe two people have brought me a Croatian wine. But here we're sort of, you know, we're kind of pushing the envelope a little bit because now it's, it's really Italian, but it's kind of over there. Yeah. And you've got new varietals that no one's going to know about. How are we going about this? It's just walking into a place like this and tasting people on the wines and them going, whoa, I get it now. Is that what you have to do? In the... Pretty much, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you are there, when you visit Friuli, when you visit, obviously, the property, when you visit the area, people are like, you know, there's like a blink in your in your head and go, your light goes on is like, okay, now now I get what these guys are doing. Yeah. But, um, I mean, in our experience of going around and tasting our, our customers, they're all like, pretty much blown away by the quality yeah. and when they t especially when they taste also the Cabernet Franc because it's such an international varietal that everyone knows about they are blown away by this quality because it's so different because you Completely don't expect different. you don't expect this tasting profile from from this varietal that everyone knows about you know so it's um you know, different areas of the world, same grape, but completely different characteristic. So for us, it's like mm. telling a, a story because, I mean, I don't know how many Vitoskas you tasted before, but <laughs> no, <laughs> it's it. pretty yeah. much... It's because it's very close, the vineyards and the, the production is very, 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 very limited. And I yeah. think all our wine and the, the like tell in the max and the, the characteristics are very very in the acid it's not large wine it's all in the straight tone right. wine yeah. very acid vertical yeah it's, yeah it's very interesting for the listeners and this is why i don't taste during these podcasts because it's hard to understand thing but what i could what i would say to anybody listening that loves napa cabs this is exactly the opposite and yeah that the structurally we're talking about it's really about the acid and i think in i think all of wine is really about the structure mm -hmm. and this has such beautiful structure and the acid like you said earlier it's not tannic acid it's not the kind of acid that makes you feel like you have you know a sock in your mouth it's this kind of acid that brightens the food that brightens the wine yes. that that leaves you with it's an astringency that wants you to taste more yes mm -hmm. and it has to go with these fatty meats and these salty meats Yes, and that's what fascinates me. And uh, it's in the um, perfect. It's perfect pairing with in the fat, uh, fat uh, feet, fat prosciutto, fat and uh, dishes, and balance the acidity of our uh, our wines. I just learned something about prosciutto. Oh yes, I was learning. Prosciutto. I was reading a book on on salt. Y yes, yes, it's a pro prosciutto or salami. It's in the perfect with the terrano because terrano, terrano is in the different uh, red wine. It's not red. No, it's not in the red uh, tan tannin. It's not in the tannin wine, but it's very <clears throat> acid and um, <clears throat> and uh, with in the, a little bit in cold temperature and the uh, and the uh, with in the ham fat ham or fat and uh, salami it's, it's perfect balance yeah. okay yes. so if i come over to your house tomorrow for dinner <laughs> <you're> gonna, <laughs> we're gonna sit down would we start with salami prosciutto maybe some cheeses and a glass of yes perfect for from cheese for and uh, with them with the uh, and um and the uh, typical and the uh, cheese and the uh, cow or and uh, or uh, different on different cheese it's perfect. With what would you cook room. for us if we? Yeah, would, then, then what's next? Yeah. I mean, we can't just yeah. we can't just eat salami all night. We have to have. Yeah, what's next? What's for dinner? Salami. <laughs> yeah, what's for dinner? Exactly. Yeah, yes. Cosa c'è per cena? Cosa c'è? And uh, un piatto di salami? Cosa ci fai? Mm, <laughs> fried salami salad. Yeah, I think it's it's perfect. <laughs> fried in the salami. The terrain of or or or, uh, or uh, Cabernet Franc is perfect with in the in the grilled meat. A oh, grilled meat. Yes, okay, grilled good. meat with in the Cabernet Franc. It's in the perfect because in the Cabernet Franc and the, remember the smoke it and the pepper knot and the, with so and basically the, a barbecue. Yes. Is this your first trip to America? And the third. Third. Yes. How about Los Angeles? Uh, third in California. Yes. California. The second time in Los Angeles. So I mean, cuisine-wise, is completely different than what you. Yes. 
I mean, it's, it's, it's complete. And it's probably I, embarrassing for us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we serve yes. Here. No, don't say yes. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm all about that. But I, I just, it just seems to me that that part of the world, things are going to be fresher, more seasonal, uh, less, in, less influence. And, yeah. and I was, the reason I brought up the prosciutto and the salami is that I learned that salt, when you cure meats, it's the meat part that gets the salt. The fat does mm-hmm. not. And so you can't really... You can't really have prosciutto without the fat because it's too salty. Like they have to and go together. They have to go together. The yeah. fat doesn't yeah. absorb the salt, so it yeah. counteracts yeah. the salt. Yeah, and prosciutto comes from, like, there are two towns in Italy where they are famous for prosciutto. One is Parma, so Parma, of course, central, yeah. obviously Emilia Romagna, and the other one is San Daniele, which is Friuli. Oh, it is? Yeah. We are, not, we are known for exporting prosciutto worldwide. I didn't know that. In Friuli, yeah. So you're here for Trebecchieri, which is a famed um, show that, that I think for the listeners, they don't, they'll don't. explain it. In this case, you know, we have the 95 points, the, the 100 point system that Parker and Spectator and Enthusiast and Suckling use. The Trebecchieri uses puffs. I think it's three puffs is the max, right? Three glasses. Three glasses. Yeah. Three glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, three glasses. So, yeah, Gambetta Rosso. And so then they do five of these a year, I think, throughout the country. They take the best... I think they start with 40,000 wines that they start tasting in the beginning of this thing and they end yeah. up with what's at the show. Yeah. It's the top yeah. of the yeah. show. Yeah. And yeah. you get, you the, the trade gets to come and taste the wines. Mm-hmm. So it's quite an honor to be there, no? Yeah. It's like the, uh, for us, for the Italians, it's like the Academy Awards yeah. of wines. Yeah. And, and so the doors are open. Uh, the tri- I, 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 Now that I remember it's tomorrow, thanks for reminding me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try and get out there, but um, get a chance to, Walk the halls, only taste Italian wines. Yeah. Wines from all over Italy, from north to south. But the top of the top. But the top of the top. Yeah. Yes. It's quite a production, actually. Yes, mm-hmm. and, uh, and uh, tomorrow we are in, the, in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. And the uh, first uh, in, uh, in March in uh, San Francisco. Yeah. It's hard yeah. work, huh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's hard work selling wine. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It is. It is. Yes. It's not it easy. easy but... You have to love it. You have the passion for it. Is that... I mean, that's yes. what it takes. Yes, but and uh, and uh, with um, Max and, <coughs> and the, the all the team of and the and the Friuli Italian wines and uh, are and uh, um, friends and uh, we work a lot, but we we work in the we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. Yes, yes, so yes, it yes. doesn't feel like we're working, yes. but yeah, going around and showing the wines. You know, I mean, it's it's good work if you can get it. What's that? It's good work if you can get it. Yeah, yeah. It's good work if you can get it. Well, yeah. the reason I brought it up, I have a, a, a cousin or family member, and they just planted grapes in their vineyard. It's small, very small. It's around their house, oh. actually. And they made wine from it. And Oh, nice. Um, they called uh, the other day to ask me some questions. Now, it's been a couple of vintages already, so this is not new. But they okay. decided to go make a sales call. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So the, completely un, uh, uh-huh. uneducated, not educated, un- experienced in doing this. Mm-hmm. And so they went to a wine shop three times to get in a, to try and get in to the, see the guy. And then the, the gentleman says, the wine's too cold. I don't want to taste it. Well, the reason it was too cold was because the previous sales call they made a few weeks before, the guy said, the wine's too warm. I don't want to taste it. <laughs> 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 and I thought, you know, the for to walk in and, and do this and yeah. is it's hard work to do and you're coming from an area that's not well known for its wine and you have to teach people what this is about and how what's the general reception for instance tomorrow when you go to Trebecchieri w- what are people going to say when they come to the booth what's the typical response uh, so it's, it's a, a very good question it's, it's a great yes it's it a, a very, very good, good question. question and uh, i think is and um it's in the different wine mm-hmm. with in the in the different characteristic and uh, and uh, if if you want and uh, and autochton grapes of and uh, friuli from friuli and uh, if you want in different wines i think and uh, you find with in 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 in, in our wines so you're walking around the show, and you go to the Tuscan area, and it's all Sangiovese, and you know, and everyone knows Sangiovese. Every, and, and then you go to the super Tuscan, and it's all yeah. Cabernet Merlot, and all yeah. of a sudden, you know, the Piemonte is a little more complicated to understand. People don't yeah. quite get Nebbiolo, but whatever. And now they walk, they go, and now they're like, okay, what is this? <laughs> yes. Terrano and Vitosca. So 
it, for, for us, it's actually a plus because we can tell a story, yeah. you know? Yes. People stop a little bit more at our booth, especially if, obviously, if they like the wine, if they, if they want to hear about the wine. So we have a lot of talking points. And especially also when we make, like you said before, like sales calls. Uh, you know, we are all in the market. We all see the sales reps, the other companies. But like you said, a lot of people know Sangiovese, maybe Piedmont now it's becoming as quite as popular as Tuscany but when and when we come to the table and taste the buyer the buyer is like okay what is this now tell me the story so we get more show time with our customers than than uh, other than other that the competition does that that's what i like to think at least because well, it's no you you're right on <clears throat> the other part of the story i was telling you about my cousins is that the one store, which was their friend who owns this wine shop, mm -hmm. said, I'll bring it in, but yeah. you gotta sell it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Like I'm not I'm not hand selling this for you. Yeah. So yeah. you gotta go stand at the booths and you have to yeah. go to the restaurants and do yeah. dinners. You have to do all the things it takes yes. to make people aware of your wine. Exactly. And yes. and I think you I think I think you you're right on. It's it's always about the story. Yeah. This yeah, is a yeah. great story. Yes, this is a great story because in the in the in the our zone and uh, we cultivate the 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 vineyards and uh, but in the uh, in the in the from an 19 from 19 for, uh, 14 to 19 16 combat the first war war. Oh wow! And the yeah. the, the the history. And uh, it's it's great. It's a long of 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 of, of story. Yeah, Friuli Friuli was ground right. zero. Friuli was That's ground right. zero for the first world war because Austrians right there. Yeah, the Prussians were there. Yeah, so his his property was a military compound oh, during the first world war wow. and a military hospital. Yes, so, and the hospital after and before in the command of the the, the Italian soldier and after. The, the hospital uh, of an uh, um, Italian soldier and the, in um, all our uh, villa since in the 1792 on the all and the, um, the the soldier write the graffiti yeah. really yes yeah it's on the on the wall on the wall of the unique unique and yeah on the wall of the property. And, uh, when we were in we were in the Simeone, you know a little town right outside of Simeone called Punta Samuncio. Mm -hmm. And it was an old Prussian fort. And they found two Prussian soldiers in the Dolomites frozen, like they found Utzi, the old, the 5,000 year old man. They also found two yeah. Prussian soldiers, yeah. all with their gear and everything was perfectly preserved. And so the history, I didn't even think about this. Yeah. Um, World War I was a brutal war. And it was, oh, yeah. and they didn't really care about uh, surviving vineyards or surviving no. sellers. They just took them out. Yeah. Everything was destroyed because uh, it's. War, yeah. war. So, they, yes, well, in, in in our zone, died than the one uh, one hundred fifty thousand soldiers because it was the center of the first world war. Yeah, hundred and fifty thousand soldiers wow, died. So huge in that, uh, in that only area. in our area. Yes. All in yeah, our in, area. So here's the, so this is the part of the story that that I think is that the the new world doesn't get. And it's not to anybody's discredit, it's perfectly fine. But I have this new theory. I mean, it's relatively new. After reading a little bit about World War I and, and wine, and then World War II was very dramatic, what happened in France with mm -hmm. the Germans, that don't you think, this might be hard, so you have to, don't you think that all this culture, even before World War One, whatever was in seventeen hundred, this castle was built. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that that influences even today's winemakers? The fact that your region went through that, the fact that those stories were brought forward to the current, and he's going to tell stories to your son when he starts running the winery, and all this influences what's in the bottle. Eventually, you may not taste it, but doesn't oh, yeah. doesn't the point of view of my life matter when I make these wines? Oh yeah, that, that's yeah. yeah, that's definitely a good point because I mean it's not only World War One. We had we've been invaded because we were on the border with Austria and Slovenia. We've been invaded countless times. Like your great 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 grandparents were blonde, 
probably. <laughs> 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 no, actually, they were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, there is a lot of. Uh, I don't know. I mean, a lot of war in the class, I think. Well, war and culture it's, and it's, food. And, yeah. Uh, you know, who knows? It could have been struggle, starvation. Who knows what's happening? It's happened. one layer after the other yeah. that creates the story and what's in, in the bottle. Yes. I think that's yeah. hugely important. In America, yeah. we don't have those stories yet, but they're they're being created as the yeah. generations go on and the different things happen. And so it, it, the perspective of wine then changes for me yeah. when I hear these stories in these regions and that you're really tasting what we always say that wine is a sense of time and a sense of place. But I think it has to be modified that it's all time. It's mm -hmm. a sense of all the time of all behind the times. it. Yeah. It makes sense. Yes. The yeah. time up until the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Figure that one out. And then tell me, how, tell me, get back to me on that. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> So it's been fast. This is a fascinating story. And I, I hope we get a chance to get out there mm -hmm. and walk these rocky vineyards. And, and uh, you know, there was an episode of um, Conan, you know, the talk show host. Mm -hmm. And it was yeah. Gary Vinerchuk, you know, the crazy. Mm -hmm. Back when he was in wine, he made Conan lick a rock. Like, he, I'm not going to lick this rock, but yes. he wanted he wanted to show what minerality meant. Uh, wow yes is a uh, is... puoi accenderlo puoi infiammarlo no no <laughs> no no but uh, uh, in, uh, in we're the, gonna burn the studio now with the yeah. rock <laughs> the the the, um, the 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 rock is a uh, rich of a uh, mineral uh, substance and the the red soil are rich of clay mm -hmm. and iron, iron and the 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 red soil the red is a is the the iron uh, substance. We call it bloody soil. Bloody soil. Sanguigno. Yes. Bloody soil. Yeah, yeah. But, well, obviously, great influence over the wine, and it should be. And that's what we want to taste in a wine is where that thing is grown and what it means to be mm -hmm. there. That's the first thing. But it's also, I think, you said earlier that it, it was at some point it was used for anemia. That the wines there were, because of the iron content. The yeah. people yes. that were anemic in the in the, in the Terrano. All, all 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 our uh, wine, but in the in the Terrano is in the rich of uh, an antioxidant uh, and um, uh, substance, and is perfect and uh, for the uh, anemic An anemic A anemic and uh, diet. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get an argument from because it's a rich of uh, iron. Yeah, get, so doctors would prescribe yeah, the Terrano as a, as a medicinal. You're going to get an argument from the Uruguayans, Uruguay, because they say Tanat is the most um, um, antioxidant rich. And there's another grape that somebody was touting the other day that was antioxidant. But you taste the antioxidants here practically. Yes. Yeah. So Okay, so I'm gonna, we're going to wrap this up. And I'm going to use this book since we're talking about the curative properties of wine. Now, these are all French wines, so it's not really fair to ask Italian guys about French varieties. Please don't. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just did, but but there, but but the d anemia is one of the one of the issues here yes. in this uh -huh. book, which is written by a French doctor, and it, he talks about having um, anemia and what wine should go with it, like what you should drink. Really? Yeah. Wow. So I'm going to put you to the test, okay? Okay. So should we have a Burgundy, which is Pinot Noir? Okay. Or should we have a Grave, which is Cabernet ba primarily? Or should we have a Young Beaujolais, which is Gamay Beaujolais? Mm -hmm. Which one do you think those which three one? grapes? Be uh, now you Pelican can answer. If I were you, I'd answer Toronto. But go ahead. <laughs> uh, Beaujolais? Beaujolais. Beaujolais. Okay. So that, no. But that's okay. No one ever gets it right. Uh, let me ask you this question. It's, mm. it's the Grave, the Cabernet. I guess because of the acid, right? So we're mm -hmm. just talking about the anemia. But how many glasses a day should we have? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, as much as you can you, drink. <laughs> and, uh, three. Three. Okay, three or three. four. <laughs> three glasses. <laughs> if you want, and uh, a happy five. <laughs> okay, listen to this. You, you, guys are, you guys are pretty smart. Listen to this. <laughs> Uh, a path, uh, anemia is a pathological decrease in the number of red blood cells. We know that already, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Recommended wine grab because of their iron content. 
Okay. Huh? That's what we're talking about right here. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're going to see how much we're supposed to drink. Two glasses per meal. Okay. And I'm guessing that's six so, glasses a day. Yeah. <laughs> Three meals. <laughs> if you count breakfast. Depend of the eight. quantity of a glass. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> or or it if says, you drink straight from the bottle. It yeah. says the iron level in the wine can sometimes reach 10 milligrams per liter. I wonder what this... That'd be interesting to figure that out. And... Uh, Oh, say to the analysis. Uh, yes, if you want, I send you the the analysis. Yeah. And um, but the the grapes is uh, of Terrano is a rich of an iron, but the the, the clay the and the, the rocky are rich of the the, the clay the, the the iron substance and the uh, and the natural sulfates. Natural sulfates. Yes, and the and the preserve with a natural method, the, the wine. How many other wineries are there in the immediate area, close? Oh. Uh, mm, 27. Is, so we, we are in the, in the 10, 10, 12, and, uh, and uh, yes, but in, <laughs> in the, um, the, other, the other property are very closed. And we have in the 35 hectares, the, the, other, the other property are in the three hectares, five hectares, maximum small eight hectares. So yes. they're the biggest guys in that yes. area. And, and is there a wine, you know, if I go to the area, do I take my car and stop at the tasting rooms and taste wine? Or this this sort of not really that, like like Napa or like Sonoma or no, something? No, no, we do it. We yes, do. yes, we yeah, do. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. We, we organize. A lot of tourists. We, we, we organize the, 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 the tour, the, the, the testing, uh -huh. the, mm -hmm. the, the walk in the, in the vineyards, in the, in the, in the forest, in the, in the... In the yeah, it's, it's something that it's, it's seems, common it's, practice. Seems like a uh, must. Seems yeah. like a must visit part of the world for wine. Yes. I mean, you really, should broadcast yes. your show from there once. Yes, once. It'd be really fun. I could do that. Yeah. It's been a pleasure having you here, Luca. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us and taking <laughs> the time. You. I know you're busy and it's a long, long trip through America to do these trip back here. And Max, always a pleasure to see you too. Thank how's, you. How's married life these days? Thank you, Paul. Oh, I love it. Yeah, you do? Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's 35 well. years for me, so uh it's been uh eight months for me are you gonna join the ranks <laughs> are you gonna join the ranks like luca and i and work with our wives uh I, i'm already i'm already i'm already doing it oh, you already did. Okay. <laughs> she's helping she's helping in the business so That's great. congratulations yeah. cheers thank you paul thank travel you. safe thank you thank thanks you. Thank thanks you. paul